Hello out there. You're welcome to the newspaper review here on TAF TV, where we get the reactions of Nigerians in regards to the headlines that are making rounds on our newspaper. My name is Ayo Keme, and I'm your host for today. All right, before we hit to the street, before we give Nigerians the opportunity to air out their views in regards to these headlines, now let's move straight to the newspaper and see what the headline has for us today. Now, today being 20th of June 2024, we are concluding first the Nigerian pilot. And on the front page of the Nigerian pilot, we, we have Salah Tragedies. The end of that is found on the front page of the Nigerian pilot. Constitution, not Fubara ended local government council. Local government council tenure, says Islamic leader. This is what that is found on page six. Three suspected kidnappers knobbed in Okut Okukbo area of Benue State. The end of that is found on page seven. Police raid ESN camp arrested four in Anambra State. The end of that is found on page six. Tension in rivers as two dead, many injured over local government tenure. The end of that is found on page five. Taku bidding hunger, insecurity, Islamic scholar tells Tinibu. The end of that is found on page five. Tinibu calls for change of mindset to grow economy. The end of that is found on page nine. Insecurity, Kogi governors bans all forms of procession in Kotun Kuri environment. Details of that is found on page six. And lastly, on the Nigerian pilot, we see we have on page 19, it says, Oil block license rounds, NUPRC extends bid opening. You can read that up on page 19 of the Nigerian pilot. Moving on, we're considering the nation. And on the front page of the nation, we still have rivers crisis. And it says, rivers crisis, police retain control of council secretariat. The third of that is found on page four. Aquabum spent 18 billion naira on pension gratuities. The third of that is found on page five. Custom generate 4.49 trillion in one year. The third of that is found on page seven. All right, moving on, we have at least terrorism. Namdi Kalu seeks out of court settlement. The third of that is found still on page four of the nation newspaper. All right, lastly on the nations we have, Fubara appointed caretaker chairman cannot assess office. Wow, that's a sad one. The third of that is found on page two of the nation newspaper. All right, lastly for today, we are considering the vanguard. And on the front page of the vanguard, we still have yet again reverse crisis. Fubara orders probe of local government accounts. The third of that is found on page 12 of the vanguard newspaper. Custom to establish stable for foreign exchange rates for imports. The third of that is found on page 19. All right, now moving on, still on the vanguard, we have terrorism charge. Namdi Kalu seeks out of court settlement with federal government. The third of that is found on page 11. Cholera outbreak. Federal government may declare emergency, says NCDC and DG. The third of that is found on page 10. Edo Guba, PDP expels Shaibu, OB, cities, anti-party activities. The third of that is found on page 7. Why we target assets of drug bands, drug bands traffickers, says Mawa. The third of that is found on page 9. Yet again, minimum wage. Why governors, others are foot dragging. The third of that is found on page 19. I must say this minimum wage has actually lingered enough. So we should actually bring this to an end. You can read that up when it has to do with minimum wage. Details of that is found on page five. All right, moving on, we have on page nine, it says, Naira depreciation makes Lagos, Abuja, cheapest global cities for expatriates. Details of that is found, just like I said, on page nine. All right, lastly, on the vanguard, we have Obaseke gives Edo CP seven days to fish out Killings of Uniben graduates. The death of that is found on page six. All right, that is all we have for you in regards to the headlines that are making rounds on our newspaper this morning. Now let's hit to the street and hear the reactions of Nigerians in regards to these headlines. Remember, you also can be part of this show. Do well to follow us up on all our social media handles. And if you're yet to subscribe, please subscribe so that you get updated each time we drop videos like this. Do well to stay tuned.
Hello, good morning, sir. Yeah, how are you doing? Uh, I'm good. Yes. Now, I, I, I would like your thoughts on the Nigerian pilot that says constitution, okay. not Fubara ended local government council's tenure, okay. says Islamic leader. Now, uh, our Islamic leader are saying that it was not uh, Fubara that ended uh, the local government chairman's uh, tenure, that it was the constitution. Do you think it, it is okay to say it that way? It is not okay, sir, okay. because you see, since uh, the governor came into power, he has been going through some crisis from, from his former boss. Obviously, okay. Yes, yeah, so I believe that um, an opportunity should be given to Fubara to bring That's out his, rule. Yes. to rule and bring out his best. Okay. I read a book by a man called Anthony Robinson. He says, the giant in you has not yet emerged. So, I believe that if we give Fubarak people an opportunity, he will bring in the giant in him to emerge in River State. So I am supporting Fubarak people for all that he's doing. Okay. He will continue to rule till eight years. Right. In Jesus' man and then we pray. Amen. And now, what's your take on um, the, the six-month extension? Is, is it okay that they, this man, you know, they, they actually demanded for a six-month extension. Okay. But what's your take? Now, secondly, do you think uh, Wiki's hand is still in this crisis that we're having now obviously obviously his hand is still there because he's a godfather okay yes as a godfather is in because the guy called uh, fubara people is not dancing to his shoes oh, yes. Be before now yeah before this time if you observe even before the guy was inaugurated as a new governor of river state he has been having issues with his boss okay. so i believe that um we should go and rest for a while okay and allow his boys to rise he has so eaten has eaten enough has eaten, let he, his boys the, the, the minister so yes he, he should he should eat he should eat he, you see day your day make a day my day nobody worry nobody all right well, what's your prayer for nigeria generally uh nigeria is a blessed country okay. our president is trying the vice president is trying uh my prayer for nigeria is that nigeria should be united okay. yes that even the economic crisis will come down dollar will subsidize okay. and everything will come down and that's all that's all i'm praying for the country today right. yes you. thank you very much yeah thank you all right we've come to the end of our newspaper review here on tav tv you have been opportunity to hear what nigerians got to say in regards to the headlines that are making rounds on our newspaper Remember, you also can be part of this show. If you're here to subscribe, please subscribe. Follow us up on all our social media handles so that you get updated each time we drop videos that are showing the reactions of Nigerians. My name is Ayo Kamen, and I've been your host for today. Don't forget, this has been the newspaper review here on Taf TV. Do well to take care of yourself.